After a gene has been transcribed, a cell still has some ability to regulate it. So for example, during RNA processing, introns are removed. However, the way in which introns are removed can vary. There is alternate splicing that can occur where different cells or cells at different times may join different exons together and therefore the mRNA which results will vary and thus the protein which is made from this mRNA can vary. And so alternate splicing is a way that genes can be regulated even after transcription is done. There are other ways that genes may be regulated even after transcription has been completed. Apparently there are mechanisms where nucleotides may be changed through a process known as RNA editing so that the nucleotide sequence is different from what was coded by the DNA. Also, there is a tight control over which mRNAs will leave the nucleus. It's estimated that maybe half of all of the mRNAs which are made will never leave the nucleus and thus never be converted into protein. And so therefore, apparently additional signals are required before mRNAs may leave the nucleus and before translation can occur. These are various mechanisms of post-transcriptional regulation of genes.